Hi, Kalti here, and today we're gonna do another let's build. Let's go. So where are we right now? We are in Minecraft 1.20.4, so I kind of changed the texture of Cockricot into autumn-ish, so I turned the color map into red. In this video, I want to build something and I don't really have any plan on what to build, honestly. I want to go back to some kind of a sim houses. Like, I just noticed that most of my recent builds, they're pretty gimmicky. I'm just gonna look for a spot to build this cottage or a cabin or whatever. Why while we're doing this exploring, uh, maybe I just do the yapping now. I just realized that most of my recent builds are pretty gimmicky. So we have like hodgepodge and then apple cottage. Apple cottage? Dude, apple cottage actually did pretty well and I did not expect that video to perform that good because I thought it was just another let's build. <laughs> I really appreciate it, but I still don't understand what makes that video kind of like stand out, you know? Or maybe because I did the, the corrals thing, the <laughs> then people are like, oh, wow. I mean, like, it's not the most, okay, that's a bit too loud. I don't really get what sets that video apart, you know? But for some reason, I think, you guys like it more than any other videos that I created. But anyway, my builds have been very gimmicky. Uh, we have hodgepodge and then uh, Scandinavian, although it's, it's pretty cool. I made the building to look like an optic logo, the optic esports logo. <laughs> the whole experience of making that build was, it was really unique. I've never done anything like that, but I want to do something a little bit more classic. You know, it's just going to be a cabin. It's going to be, I would say it would be a red cabin, but I'm not really sure if it's going to be red. You know what? Lakeside cabin? Probably. That would be, that would be nice, I think. I can build something over here, like maybe some oak plants. Okay, let's try using some oak plants. And this is what I don't like. I really don't, oh, oh, it's herringbone, okay. Jungle planks, they actually make jungle planks look decent. <laughs> and do, 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 do. yeah, we can do this. So let's do a little bit of foundation. Oh no, I forgot to do the ritual. Um, oh no, this is, this is, this is a blasphemy. We have to do the ritual. I mean, to, for our Lord and Savior, Corrales. Okay, we're gonna place this block and then we're gonna celebrate. First step, a giant leap for mankind. Pop. Yes, let's go. All right, we're done. So we're just gonna keep building this. Is, is there a way to like make this less tedious? Just use one. I think that's a bit too too tall. Let's say someone just oh what is this? Maybe just make it square for now. I don't really consider myself to be a builder by the way. Do you really think that someone who only builds cabins and cottages to be a Minecraft builder? Do you really think that I deserve a title of a builder? The same title that you give the likes of Grian and Trixie Blocks? No. But I would take Let's play and the game that I happen to do to be doing a let's play on is Minecraft with mods. We're gonna put some foundation like the spruce log. This is this is a good start. We're just gonna expand to the back. Maybe a little bit wider. So I want to make it a bit small. I don't want to make a huge cabin right now because in a bit of a time crunch. It's Ramadan and it's holiday. I have like a few days off. I really want to take advantage of it. I want to use this opportunity to create as many videos as I can. I really appreciate that I could even just a few days of being human, you know, of being a normal human so that I could like do my hobbies and do my side projects like YouTube. It's 1 a.m. right now and I have to complete this, which is not really a good idea considering that I don't have any plan for this build. Is there a planter? Oh yeah, there we go. Uh, wood planter and modern planter. So how you do? Hmm, they don't connect. What about you? Well, that kinda. Maybe we can use this instead. So the walls are going to be the wood modern planter. What about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's go with nine. I don't want 
to use even numbers anymore. To the, here and then the, like this. And then over here, we're gonna go to the back. So I wanna make this classic cabin that is very reminiscent of the, uh, the early times of Caledy Channel. I like about tiny spaces. I mentioned that I don't think that I deserve the title builder. It's not because I feel like I'm not good enough or anything. I think if I just put more time and effort into building mega builds and uh, you know, just, just try hard, I think I can make it. I'm not saying this as an arrogant, but I just feel like if you put a lot of time, energy, um, effort, yeah, just work hard you can at least be decent at something. As of right now, I don't really have that much time or energy to invest in myself in terms of uh, building skills. But also at the same time, I'm kind of reluctant on doing that because I just love small spaces more than larger grand buildings, you know. They're everywhere like this, castles and uh, mansions, malls, uh, like huge palace they're like everywhere in planet minecraft and they're really impressive there's, there's a lot of effort there's a lot of talent put into those builds but they don't really give me the same feeling as like some winter tiny cottage that i built using cockrecut or someone else built using cit builds it's because i don't know i just have some kind of obsession with smaller builds I think I have the complete opposite of claustrophobia, but not really though. I think I want to expand this a little bit, or maybe not, because I just feel like smaller spaces, RVs, like cabins, like tiny cabins or tiny cottages, like hotel rooms, um, security booths. For some reason, I really like the interiors of security booths. If the security officer had a little bit of personality i think they would bring like a toy or whatever and they would make that space like belong to them and i've seen a lot of security booths that have personality they're not really like utilitarian they have some books drawings from their kids i think yeah i, I just love unlikely small spaces one of my latest obsessions is tower cranes and you know those those tower cranes that are super tall on construction sites i thought i expected the interior to be super utilitarian i thought it was like kind of like a forklift but turns out i saw like this person they brought a bunch of stuff into their cabin this person got books there are lockers there's even a microwave in a tower crane cabin like this small space they put a microwave and there's a radio i think there's also a tv and they made it like their second home and then i dug a little deeper and then turns out they stayed there for hours so there was like this popular question where do crane workers go when they have to go to the bathroom one two three four five okay i'm just gonna fill this up first and then we're gonna do the details later. It was really interesting because I just realized that they basically stayed for hours inside that tiny cabin. So of course that would make it really comfy. They they, they brought lots of blankets too. You know, there, there were radios and TVs and I, th I think there are also like Wi-Fi in there. I'm not really sure, like a portable Wi-Fi, right? So it was pretty understandable that they kind of decorate that space with their belongings. They turned this tiny space into some kind of a second home. It was really interesting to learn about this. I got nothing better to do, but I was looking for inspiration, by the way. It was not really like a waste of time. Basically, I got a lot of inspiration for my interiors from unlikely spaces like fire watch towers. I do think the Firewatch Towers are super cozy. Not only they're, they're small, they're in the middle of a forest, and they're in the middle of not just a forest though, they're in the middle of American forests, which I think are the best. Uh, not a fan of this, this is going to be a problem, which means that I think I can use something else. Um, stripped dark oak. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, this is insane. Okay, let's let's try. These these are the new designs. 
that is exclusive that is exclusive to this version because i don't think exist in the 1.12.2 version so yeah we're gonna try it out and i think it looks it looks perfect i like it yeah i love the colors i love the mix of the colors it's like brown brown and brown so there's like this there's like this youtube channel it's i think it's called never too big or never too small and they basically cover like rvs camper vans just tiny homes and i do love me some tiny homes so one of my friends asked me which country that you would like to visit and i answered the us <laughs> they were like really here's the thing the reason why i wanted to visit america is because i want to live in an rv in the middle of uh, american north american forest and they were like what people who live in rvs they want to live in a house like it's one of my dreams to live in a caravan they're not a thing here in indonesia so i don't think it's even possible i don't think they have like winnebago's in here i, I think they do but the tax are attacks are wild what about this one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no that's ten about my wildest dreams which is to live in an rv or a camper van or a winnebago or a or a trailer or whatever a trailer yeah a trailer yeah they were like Whoa what why would you want to live in a trailer because trailer is basically a tiny home and i love tiny homes and they're also mobile so you can pretty much bring your tiny home everywhere yeah this is fine i guess so the next thing what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the spursa wood to make like this two-door effect It's wild, you know, to have like, one of your biggest dreams is to live in an RV. I just love tiny spaces that much. And it's been one of my dreams since I was a kid. And it doesn't have to be permanent. I don't I don't have to live in an RV. I just want to be able to stay in one of them for like maybe a week. We can do this roofing a bit easier right now. Maybe we can expand this way or maybe to the back for the bathroom. What is that? What is that? Is that a void? Hello, excuse me. Oh, it's... Oh, I see. This is my first time using Zyro's minimap because I usually use journey map. But for me personally, I just prefer a journey map because it has more features and that's about it. Wait, it's a shame though we don't have the mint color. Is that like a mint? No, it's only the furniture. I'm talking about America. Diners, I want to be, I want to visit one, at least one diner, like one American diner. Wait a minute. Yeah, should, should, should be fine. Yeah, American diners, like those uh, 1950s, 1960s, you know, those diners that you usually see on movies where they have like jukebox and then the, the atmosphere is like, I just want to visit like at least one of them. Okay, what about red though? Ashasha? How about Ashasha? Whoa, I think this is gonna be, this is supposed to be higher. I'm gonna redo this. If you're American, maybe you just feel like, oh, diners are, ugh, you know? Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of charm in it. And I want something about gas stations too. I was in Copper Raven's Discord server and I was like, you know, I was obsessed with a gas station. And she was like, what? Yeah, because gas stations, like those rest stops, are like a rest area, and then you have a convenience store, and then you have a really uh, yucky, pukey foods that would get you like diarrhea the next day. Like gas station foods. The gas station foods in this, in my country, in Indonesia, they're not really that bad. Or maybe I just have a really like a stomach made out of netherite. But I've never had any complications. I, I don't know. I just never had any problems with gas station foods here. And uh, they taste decent, I guess. Where are the roofs? There are no roofs. Come on. Kakri cut without roofs is like, I don't know. I'm not poetic. So I'm just going to drop that. This is borderline vanilla. And I have like zero experience building in vanilla. What? You serious? Wait, 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 wait. wait, wait a minute. Wait a second. 
we can put some kind of a gradient, I guess? But at least the colors are different. I'm building with no plans, and people who build with no plans, they actually do better than this. You know what? What about Gambrel? Because I, whenever I see a medieval house with gambrel roofing, they're usually really tall. They have two stories, right? It's a bit too pointy. You know what? I don't think that's my thing. I'm just gonna go with the classic gabble roof. It works. It just works. Ooh, that sounds so satisfying. I really miss the Builder's Wand from 1.5.2. Hmm, what's this? Mangrove? Okay, what about if I put this? I'm gonna make like a gradient. I think I should be putting this at the bottom. Maybe the gradient is from darker brown to lighter brown, like birch and... This should do it, I guess. What about dark oak? I think dark oak looks okay. And we can use this. Or something a bit darker. Maybe the deep slate or a warped. Warped is complete black. Holy, I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is it. Yep, I think this is enough. I think this is enough. I think this is great. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing great boys. We're eating good tonight, boys. This is what I like about playing Minecraft. It's just the building. Minecraft has been so competitive lately. Using mods, this feels like a getaway. People who build using mods are quite rare, so I don't really have a competition. And I do prefer it like that. Because yeah, competition can bring you innovation, but I just want to be in a safe space, I guess. And I think this is it. The safe space that I've always wanted. Because I can build, I can build my dream houses. I can build the interiors. Whoa, it turns into a viking house? Well, not really a viking house, but still. Uh... But I actually kind of like this gradient, though. <gasps> yes, dental molding! Let's go! Well, not, this is not dental molding, but... Kinda... Close enough? That looks so ugly. I think red doesn't fit here. What the heck is this? Okay, that is... That's a bit too much, don't you think? <laughs> facades over facades over facades. This should be fine. But for the shadow though, we're not gonna use that color. We're gonna use something else. So I did a little bit of tweaking. <laughs> tweaking. I did a little bit of adjustments. So yeah, I did a little bit of adjustments to the, the front of the house. And I decided to just use this. And this is called Pillar Shop Facade. And look at that. I love the color so much. I was like battling and I was debating of putting this here or... The reason why I wanted to, to give like a space over here is because I wanted to use frames. Uh, where is it? Uh, there we go. Uh, for example, this a window frame. But the problem, it doesn't work. See, it, it doesn't work. And it's, it's frustrating because I wanted to make it like... I really wanted to showcase this mod and the capabilities of this mod on making window frames. But turns out... It, doesn't work so like, yeah okay so you know what that's fine just put as many windows as possible and i think this should work and i think it looks pretty good to be honest i love the colors it kind of looks like caramel yeah i think i want to do a little bit of detailing on the roofs so it's like i love the the earth tone ish colors of this 
pack. Oh, 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 I get it, 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 I get it. It's gonna be like this, I think. I don't know, I never really did anything like this because I don't really build that much in vanilla. And then what I wanna do next is maybe a little bit of this and then... Uh, yeah, I kinda like the details. Okay, pretty good roof. Let's just complete the whole thing. Probably gonna speed this up because this is the most tedious part of the build. So I'm not really sure about this. This trap door. Should I put trap doors over here? Yeah, everything about Copper God is just a dream come true to me. So you can understand why I just can't stop using these mods and uh... What about the back though? Oh no! You know what, I think the back is fine. We can deal with it later. We can just focus on putting some windows. This is where I'm gonna put the fireplace. Or maybe over here, I'm not really sure. But I think it's fine. I think we're done with the exteriors. Almost done, by the way. I gotta say, I really love the colors. I didn't expect the color combination to look this good. Good is uh, quite subjective, but I just love how it looks like caramel and coffee and chocolate especially this color it just looks like caramel i didn't expect this to be dominated with brown color i thought it was going to be red or at least white so that's the reason I, why i changed the color map of the leaves but now it looks it's all 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 of it is just red and brown yeah this this like this whole lot of red what if we immediately jump into the interiors it's a pretty small house i think i can fully decorate this today this is the entrance i want to put a door i want to use a tall door oh wall hacks fireplace where do we put the fireplace so i have no other options we have only white and black so i'm gonna go with white over here what do you think? That way, I don't have to think of this. I don't have to think about this side. And uh, all I have to do is just fill this up with, I don't know, andesite or stone bricks. Yeah, this is a pretty good spot for a, for a fireplace. We have more options when it comes to stone, like stone variants. We have cracked polish, black stone, we have black stone, and then we have deep slate, lots of them. No, 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 we're not gonna go with black stone. Something that is more subtle. Okay, so let's see. Stone bricks. Oh, wow. Whoa, it looks like a middle finger. What is it? Uh, stone bricks? Stone bricks, the stairs, and then some slabs, maybe some walls as well. What if we put some kind of a gradient? Brick, brick, deep slate brick. Or maybe some black stone too. All right, cool. I want to put a smoker, black smoke, not really, gray smoke. Smoker over here, and then some trapdoors. Done. So now we have a fireplace. Now we just set the thing on fire. I think I'm just gonna do this just as a safety measure. Do we have a clock? Ooh, we have cuckoo clock. Hey, hey, cuckoo. Nice. I think I want to put some bookcases uh, on the sides of the fireplace. Wait. Oh, yeah. This is like the hunter's hunter's cabin. Relax. Uh, this is made out of papier mache, so it's still wholesome. Um, not really entirely wholesome though, because it's modeled after a head of a deer. So basically, this kind of model could have been impossible if we hadn't killed and brutalized them first. Uh, sofa? Do we have sofa? Yeah! And then we can put some kind of a low table. This. Ah, oh, botanical. Oh, some antique painting. 
American poster. Yeah. America. Yeah. What if I do this? So it's like symmetrical. But the problem is I can't put it here. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. We can use another painting. Then we can use this painting. We can put a cuckoo clock over here. And then we can put a monstera. Do I love monstera so much? Put some cushions. Cushions, uh, deer. I put a deer over here. And then the white one over here. I want to turn it into a loft. I want to build some kind of a platform. So jungle, huh? What is this? A jungle plant. Okay, what about mangrove? So if I put mangrove over here, or maybe over here, I think I put it. I was thinking of putting a kitchen over here, either a kitchen or maybe a dining room. And then on top of it, we have the, the bedroom. But I'm kind of conflicted because I've seen the cabin where they had like this, okay? It's like a lofty cabin. So they put the bed on a platform like this on a second floor but it's not entirely a second floor. And then below, like under this platform, is a kitchen. And then next to it is the bathroom, like a mini bathroom. So it's like the mini bathroom is actually like a, a room. So it's like, it's like an enclosed room. So the platform, the whole platform is like held by the walls of the bathroom, which I think it's a nice idea. It just makes it more sturdy. It is Minecraft, so you don't have to be too realistic. If you see, a platform like this doesn't look safe. So I was thinking of putting here, this is going to be the kitchen, or I want to put it back here. Okay, this is the bathroom. Okay, I want to put my girl slabs over here. We don't need this anymore, or maybe we kind of do, I don't know. But it's oh, so beautiful. Look at this. Woo, woo. I was thinking of putting stairs. So this, let's just cover this up. This is gonna take a lot of space. Where are we gonna get in? Oh, over here. Okay, cool. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, this is a mess. It just takes too much space, you know? Whoa, check this out. Then I'm gonna put a trapdoor, some trapdoors, and maybe spruce. Um, hmm. <laughs> I don't think this design looks good. Let's try a different trapdoor. Acacia, maybe Acacia trapdoor. Oh my god. I didn't sign up for a puzzle game. This is Minecraft. Or, yeah, we can. <laughs> I think this, this works. Okay. Or maybe I could put some bookcases underneath this. Sea Drift. Yeah. Yeah. Epic. So this is going to be the bathroom. It's kind of small though. I think I'm going to do something like this again. Or maybe... Uh, what about a dining table? Where's the gingham one? Red gingham. What if... Blah, blah, blah. I'm quite unsure myself. But we, we can try. What about white garden? I love the sound! <laughs> the design looks so clean. It looks too clean. I want something that is more greedy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bar stools? Bar stools. You know, what, what I'm trying to say is that this is not really like a well-established house. I was thinking of putting like a sink that looks kind of like this. Hi, Future Kalti here. Sorry for interrupting this program. So I'm going to split this video into two episodes. We've done most of the exteriors in this episode and I realized that the rest of the footage might take another day to cut and edit. I just need to upload something this weekend rather than continue editing the rest of the footage and delay the upload even further. So if you've watched this far, uh, thank you so much. You're the best, you're the best. Uh, don't worry, the build is already complete. I just have other plans to do during this weekend and I'm currently working on another script for a different kind of video. I just want to get this out, alright? I just want to get this out and then we're going to continue with the second part. I'm not going to reveal the whole build yet. It's going to be a mystery. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you in the next episode where we will be decorating the interiors and trust me, it is super fun. It's like one of my favorite ever and I had a lot of fun making this video. So yeah, thank you so much. Bye. See ya.